Hi, welcome back to Amosmith.com. Today's lesson we're going to cover annealing brass. I'm going to anneal um, some new brass and I'm going to anneal um, a couple pieces of old brass. And there's a couple of reasons why you want to anneal your brass. After a while of shooting and resizing and shooting again, the necks and shoulders can get a little brittle and that's when they start to split. Also, um, I'm going to be converting these from 30-06 to 9.3 by 62 Mausers in our series on cartridge conversions. Now what you want to do is when you anneal, you only want to anneal from the neck to just below the shoulder, just to right about there. And if you go any further down, what you'll end up doing is you'll soften the brass so much that it'll split or it'll flow into the bolt and you have a real problem. This has to stay hard in order to take the pressure. This has to be soft to be malleable to go through the cartridge conversion process without splitting inside the die. And what you're going to need, you're going to need your brass. You're going to need a container of cool water. And you're going to need a propane torch. Let's get started. Okay, what I'm going to be using is an extended screwdriver so I can. Um, anneal the brass without getting my hand in the way of the flame. You can wear gloves. I'm not wearing gloves. But I'm going to have a little rag here so I can unscrew it. All this is right here is the Lee um, shell holder for their trimmer. And like I said, the Lee makes some stuff that has multi-uses. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to anneal this. Now, there's some information out there that I think is false. And that is, they say when you anneal a piece of brass, this has to get cherry red. That is false. That will cause this to be too soft, and when you try to resize it, or try to convert it, especially when you're necking it up, or necking it down, um, what will happen is the neck will collapse into the shoulder. So what we want to do is have this turn a blue color. And once it turns blue, you stop, you unlock it and let it fall into the water. Let's get started. Keep it turning so the, the heat is distributed fairly evenly. So when we convert these, we're not going to have to worry about the necks um, splitting from expanding it out. And the, uh, the shoulder is going to be moved forward too, so this it will help ease that process under fire forming. There we go. And we're done. That's annealing in a nutshell. Now that these things are cool, let's take a look at a couple of them. Um, quick hint, don't run these through your tumbler wet. It'll just clog it up inside the case because the, the, uh, the polishing media will just get clumpy like sand, wet sand, and you don't want that. There, see that color? That's a pretty decent color. That's on the ones fired. It's a little darker, and the reason is that brass is kind of old. Very old brass will need to be annealed. Now, you see how... Let me dry this off a little bit. You see how through here, kind of goes up and down. That's fine. It's no big deal. This could have been taken care of by using a drill, but I couldn't um, narrate this uh, with a drill noise in the background. So what you got is a nice little case now that's ready to be uh, manipulated through uh, swaging in several different dies that we're going to end up using. Just let them hang dry. Um, there's several ways of doing this. But what I like to do is just dry the outside of the case 
this is a this is a good good condition here. This one almost got a little too warm. Once it starts turning blue, um, this neck here got a little hot. You can see it's has like a dark, like a charry spot on there. Got just a little too warm. Not so much that it'll be bad for it, but um, if that started going all the way down here, because this started to probably get right over a thousand degrees, um, what happens? This will end up getting too soft. So now we're ready to start our cartridge conversion.